Hey everybody, welcome back to chemistry. If I can blow up the slide. Okay, so in this problem, we are given a Lewis structure for this molecule, which is called nitromethane, and here's its formula, CH3NO2. So this is the Lewis structure. And what you have to do is figure out of these four choices, which is the correctly drawn resonance form of the structure. So let me give you a couple of hints on how to solve this problem. One thing that you can sort of immediately look for is if the atoms have octets. So let me take a moment to explain that. If you look at all these structures, what you can see is that there are four elements. And so there's hydrogens, and so they should have duets. There is carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. And so those last three elements, let me bring it up in the periodic table, those are particular period two elements that must have exactly an octet. So you might remember this block of elements here I was talking about in class. And so it's carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. These are period two elements that must have an octet. They cannot have any more than eight electrons. And you, most of the time, they cannot have any less than eight electrons. And so here, let's go back to the problem here. So one thing I think I want to do first is just make sure that the carbons and nitrogens and oxygens in this problem have octets. And so we'll look at the upper left structure later. Let's right now go to the lower left structure. And so here I'm going to be looking at this one here. And the hydrogens look fine because they have duets, right? And so here is an oxygen. If you look carefully, it has an octet of electrons. This oxygen has an octet of electrons. And if you look carefully at the nitrogen, it also has an octet of electrons. But I'm hoping you can sort of see that this carbon here, if you look carefully, there are really five bonds leaving the carbon. So there are three single bonds to hydrogen, and then there's a double bond to nitrogen. You probably know that each bond has two electrons, so there's really 10 electrons associated with this carbon here. So that is bad. You can't have that in a Lewis structure. So we can remove this from contention as being a good resonance form of this top structure we have here. Okay, so let's check another one here. So here I'm gonna look at the upper right structure. And so you can see here now the carbon, if you look carefully, has an octet. And then this oxygen here has an octet, and this oxygen here has an octet. But if you look carefully at this nitrogen here, again, what you see is five total bonds. There's a single bond leaving the nitrogen going to the carbon, and then there's a double bond leaving the nitrogen going to each oxygen. And again, each bond has two electrons, so there's a total of 10 electrons there. Uh, so that is not permitted. So we're gonna put a big X in that one too. So, well, Get rid of these two. Okay, so now let's check these last two structures. Let me go with the lower right structure first. And so I'm hoping if you carefully look at the lower right structure here, which I'm circling now, all the atoms have octets, so that's fine. Okay, there's another rule about resonance structures in that you only have a correct resonance form of the first structure you're considering here if the atoms are connected in basically the same way. So let me explain that. So here is our first structure, and we're trying to again find a good resonance form for it. And so I want you to notice how the atoms are connected together. So look at the carbon here. So I want you to notice here that this carbon has three hydrogens attached to it. Sounds good. And then also there is a nitrogen attached to it. And then leaving the nitrogen, you have two oxygens attached to it. And so that's the basic connectivity of the atoms in the molecule. Okay, if we go to the lower right structure, look at the carbon now. This carbon here no longer has three hydrogen attached. It has two hydrogens. In fact, the hydrogen is now attached somewhere else. It's attached to a different atom entirely, which is oxygen. With a resonance form this is not permitted. So this is not here a good resonance form of this first Lewis structure. So that leaves here this last form. So let's check a few things. All the non-hydrogen atoms have octets, which is good. The hydrogens have duets, which is good. 
And you can see that the atoms in this form are connected in the same way as the original form. So this is the correct structure, which is a good resonance form of this first structure here. Okay, thank you for listening to that. We'll see you next time.